This short video serves as an introduction to the features and functions of the Tracker DTS Avalanche Beacon. Backcountry Access manufactures high quality and easy to use avalanche equipment. In this demonstration we will take you through a step-by-step -step tutorial on the features of the Tracker DTS Avalanche Transceiver. Loading the batteries. Flip the beacon so you're looking at the back. Unscrew the battery door. The screw should remain in the door. Pull up on the battery door. Then insert the batteries according to the diagram. Remember to use only alkaline batteries. Do not use rechargeable or any other non-alkaline battery in your avalanche beacon. Close the battery door and tighten the screw. Hand tight is sufficient. After your season is over, be sure to remove your batteries from your tracker DTS. Do not leave batteries in a transceiver for extended periods of inactivity. If left in your beacon for a significant amount of inactivity, the batteries could corrode the battery compartment and contacts. An avalanche transceiver should always be worn in a secure location that is easily accessible during an accident. BCA recommends using the harness provided and wearing it under your outermost layer, but still readily accessible. Turning on the tracker DTS is simple. Flip the beacon so you're looking at the back, then turn the on-off switch to the on position. The transceiver will beep, cycle through the directional lights, display the battery power and percentage, show the revert mode, and then show TR to indicate that it's entered transmit mode. The beacon can now be put in its harness and you can start your tour or ride. To turn the beacon off, simply turn the on-off switch to the off position. BCA recommends that you don't turn your beacon off until you're back at your car or the trailhead and you will not be heading out again that day. In order to search with your tracker DTS, the beacon needs to be on. Once your transmit light is flashing, you can now switch it into search mode. Press and hold the red button in the center of the beacon until the display reads SE. Your beacon is now in search mode and will receive transmitting signals within the receive range. If the beacon does not pick up a transmitting signal, it will flash SE in the display window. If the beacon picks up a transmitting signal, it will display a distance reading in meters in the display window, and the directional lights will also illuminate. When you detect a signal, the display window will show a distance in meters and direction. The five directional lights above the display window indicate the direction. As you are searching, orient yourself so that the center light is illuminated. Search until the display shows the lowest distance reading. When you are in search mode, the tracker DTS will sound a short alarm every 10 minutes to remind the user that the beacon is in search mode. Special mode is an advanced feature designed to assist expert searchers in specialized multiple burial situations. To enter special mode, press and hold the options button until you see the SP flash in the screen. All detected signals will flash their distance reading as well as the corresponding directional indicators. In standard search mode, the tracker only displays the strongest signal captured. In special mode, the beacon will display other signals that are caught within the special mode's reduced search window. In special mode, the search area is reduced to about 75 degrees front and back. Signals will only be displayed if they are captured within the center three directional lights. Therefore, it is crucial to rotate the beacon 360 degrees to pick up all signals. To exit special mode, Simply press the options button until SC flashes on the screen. Auto revert automatically switches the beacon from search mode into transmit mode after 10 minutes of inactivity. The most practical application of this option is in the likelihood of a secondary avalanche. In other words, if you're afraid you may be caught in a slide while searching, you may consider using the auto revert feature. At startup, you can engage the auto revert feature by pressing the options button while turning the beacon on. As the beacon cycles through its diagnostics, the display will show AR following the battery power. If auto revert is engaged, then after 5 minutes in search mode, an alarm will sound for 10 seconds and AR will flash repeatedly in the display window. 
To remain in search mode, press the red search transmit button or the yellow options button at any point during the 10 second alarm. If 10 seconds elapses without any user input, TR will show in the display window and the beacon will switch to transmit mode. If you do not want your tracker DTS to emit sound, you can turn the sound off by going into mute mode. However, we only recommend this mode for training purposes. To mute the sound, you must first be in search mode. Push and hold the options button for three seconds until L0 is shown in the display window. Now release the options button. To turn the sound back on, push and hold the option button for three seconds until L1 is shown in the display window. Now release the options button. If the beacon is turned off while in mute mode, when it's turned back on, it will switch back to its default, which is regular volume. Those are the features of the Tracker DTS Avalanche Transceiver. Remember to practice consistently and make sure that you and your companions are well prepared and educated before traveling into the backcountry.